Awesome. Thank you so much for doing this. Appreciate oh, your time. Absolutely. Yeah. I know I um I uh I mean, you know, there's so much stuff to go through. I'm so curious about so many so many stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry course. I'm late. I, I I had another one that went a little long. No, no, I I I I, uh, I I understand completely. Um, there's so much stuff I want to talk to you about. It like, of course, we're going to talk about uh, the end machine, uh, the new the project that's been with you for like uh, the third album. But I wanted to start, uh, and you've been so prolific like throughout the years since you started with Doken back in the day. I want to. When when did you got the base and was like, okay, this is this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life? When 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 did that happen? Oh, I was probably 14 years old. And I decided that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but but by the time I was 14, I knew I knew I wanted to be a rock musician. <laughs> and specifically, bass or? Yeah, at the time, yeah, yeah. I would have would have said bass, sure. Yeah. Do you? There is any recollection of any album or bass player that you saw, <laughs> and you kind of for like the first the first couple of years, you you're like, okay, I kind of want to be like that guy. Chris Squire of Yes, okay. absolutely. Yeah, yeah awesome. he, was, he was my man. I I was a Chris Squire fanatic. Still am. I still love his playing and everything about it. And I was fortunate enough to get to know him, and and that was that was a really great thing for me. So, um, yeah, Chris Squire was my man. When did that happen? When you met him? <laughs> oh, I met him. Uh, well, I met him several times. We actually hung out. We had dinner together. All this oh. kind of. Stuff. Um, but I got to know him best. Um when foreigner would would uh, would play actually mostly when we'd play in england and stuff he would come to the shows and he was living there so yeah and you know our our manager phil carson was the guy that's that made that gave yes a career at Atlant at atlantic records in the 70s so um he knew chris quite well so it all worked out great wow oh, awesome yeah it's good it's good to meet the idols and it, yeah. it's even better even better when It's reciprocal, right? And when you when you get yeah. along well, well, because yeah. there's there are stories that sometimes that work that way. So, right, But yeah, yeah. Uh, what you what you've been working on? I know you that you just finished the the album, the release. It release. We are March 18 right now. Release last weekend, uh, last week, yeah. sorry, last Friday. Uh, what's what's new for you right now? Well, I'm working on the next Black Swan record. Uh, Red Beach was out here a few weeks ago, and we got seven songs deep into the next Black Swan record. Um, and, um, yeah, so there's, there's that, uh, Reb's going to come out again in a few weeks and we'll, we'll finish that one up. Um, and then, um, and then from there, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, um, uh, well, then I've got it. I'm touring with foreigner for the year, so I'll probably be busy to the end of the year. I mean, the black swan record's not going to come out till 2025, probably finish that at the end of the year. Um, and then we'll see what happens after that. Yeah, I wanted to I wanted to go through about like Black Swan because I think it's such a cool project. Oh, thank and, you. Yeah, and I want it, it was on the end of the list here because I didn't want to skip it. But, you know, playing with George and Rab all, for all, all those years, do you still get blown away by them playing with you? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, both of those guys. That's how I know when their solos are good because it gives me goosebumps. You know, I mean, we, yeah, um, yeah, no, those guys both blow me away. Still, absolutely, they're both they they both have genius in them. You know, they really do. Yeah, yeah, I I I'm I'm so glad to hear about the Black Swan because uh, again, like I said, it's such a cool project, and uh, it's one of the few. Of course, you had other ones throughout your career, but some of the few. That you're not with George, right? Because you had so many together with him, which is yeah. you, you're probably your biggest partner in music uh, throughout yeah. the years. Yeah. And it was that your guys' idea to start uh, the End Machine. Actually, the idea came from uh, Serafino at Frontiers. Uh, he he wanted to pull, you know, Mick Brown, George, and myself, so three quarters of Dokken with another singer, you know, mm -hmm. see what happened. And that was kind of the original concept for that. Um, so, no, the idea was Serafino's. Yeah, and then um, of course you guys had two albums with uh, the other singer, and um, when the Girish threw up the you guys, uh, when when did that happen? I know he had Frontiers. He's a Frontiers guy too, right? With his right. band, and yeah. was that throughout the label or? Yes, it was. It was. It was actually the label's idea. They said, "Look, um, this singer. You know, we want you to hear this singer." So we listened to Girish and the Chronicles, 
and we were blown away by his singing. So uh, the next step was to get together and write. And um, we sent him some stuff and he just delivered amazing stuff. So we knew we had a really powerful combination and it just it we're we're all blown away at the results. It came out so great. Yeah. Yeah. It's it brings it brings a of course, of course, is all, all three albums here have some unique stuff and it's really good to see you guys playing together. Uh, but with with Girish, it's such a new it's new blood, right? It's uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you, you, how old is him? You have it's like actually 30, I have no 20, idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because you look so I, I, young. Yeah, I'm, I yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna guess he's in his 30s, maybe. Yeah. I don't. I'm not sure. Honestly. He's from India. He's from India originally, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. He, he lives there still. Oh yeah. Okay. And you, is there any any chance that you guys get together to play live or? Probably rough. not. I mean, we'd love to, and we're. I'm actually trying to figure out a way that we can do it at the end of the year, if it's if it's at all possible. Um, <clears throat> but um, but having said that. It's just so difficult logistically. Not only is he in India, but we all, all of our touring schedules, I mean, I'm touring to the end of the year. George is touring to the end of the year. Um, but having said that, uh, in 2025, you know, this is the last year where Foreigner is going to do one of those nine months of the year we're on the road kind of deals. Mm -hmm. um, that's why we're calling it our farewell tour. So my schedule is going to open up in 2025. So I guess it's humanly possible <laughs> that we could do something because George is doing the same. He's bringing Lynch Mob to a close for playing live. So um, we'll see. But I, I hate to ever like promise anything because the logistics are so difficult in pulling something like that off. Um, so I don't want to get anybody's hopes up. But but I mean, look, the, the desire and the passion is here on our parts that we'd love to do it. It's just it would be really difficult to pull off. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, always being, uh, how you, you informed us since what? Oh, four, oh, five. Correct. No, oh, four. No, yeah. Uh, uh, all, all the way through, right. You never, yeah. 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 How's it? Did you listen to foreigner growing up or? Oh yeah. Was, yeah. No, I was a big fan actually. No, that's uh, yeah, awesome. no, this, this gig was very natural for me. because I, I love the recordings. I loved all the bass parts. I always thought foreigner had great bass parts. So, no, it was it was it was a natural fit for me. And I was a big fan. And I just I love good songs. And Foreigner has great songs. And and yet we rock and live. We're a very powerful, energetic band. So um, I love it. And it's just been a wonderful gig for 20 years now. Um, it's going to be kind of sad to see the, the big touring years come to end. But we're not kids anymore. So <laughs> not being on the road nine months of the year is going to be really nice. Um, and hopefully I can do more of this. Yeah. Yeah. I, I always, I'm always like so blown away by the popularity of like foreigner and those bands that being together for such a long time, like they still, and I don't, when's the last time for to put an album, like with new stuff, like 2009. Yeah. Nine. So it's been like so many, so many years, but it's so popular still, which is, yeah, Actually, it's, it's only grown in popularity. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah, which is amazing because, like you say, they do have amazing songs. Like from Got amazing from songs, and 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 when we go out and play, we deliver. I mean, it's a really good band. Yeah, yeah. No, hundred percent, hundred percent. How was that for you? Being in this is a, I I always had this uh, question and uh, curiosity for from you guys from being the eighties like face with you with Dokken and uh, all those bands from LA to not not lose popularity but like on the mainstream and then throughout the 90s and 2000s kind of like had to reinvent yourself yeah how well you know i mean i guess uh i i mean fortunately i never took all the stardom bit too seriously you know so it never it didn't really affect me too badly in that way um but it was difficult you know people stopped calling you know and, <laughs> and, and, and you know you know the deal um but uh so it was difficult but you know, I, I mean, I love to make music. So, I, you know, I, that's all I did. I just kind of kept my nose to the grindstone and, and just kept making music and eventually something clicked. So it was difficult, but but rewarding now where we're at now. Yeah, it grew. Of course, all those bands grow in popularity, like once the Internet became a bigger yeah. thing like all back right. in the. Yeah. Uh, do you what's what was the relationship between you guys and all those bands from LA and all those th that scene was that like a kind of healthy uh position 
Yeah, yeah, or it was just like there was be hated between each other, or how? No, no, actually, that, it was it was a good scene. It was a lot, a lot of parties fun. together. We had a lot of fun together. <laughs> it was a lot of partying going on. That was a lot of fun, and I was a good partier. <laughs> I don't party anymore, but not like I did, anyways. Um, but uh, but no, it was great. There was a healthy competition, of course. Um, but we were a lot of us were really close friends you know like the rat guys we were really close with and yeah i mean yeah it was they were friends you wanted to see them do well but you wanted your own band to do better <laughs> yeah no yeah, yeah yeah do you see you see you guys you have any other friends besides you know george uh and um uh you got the guys from you know uh, mick uh you have any close relationship from the guys from rat or any other like cinderella or any yeah, other well, guys from bobby blotzer and i were close friends for a long time and I just saw him not rec not too long ago. We don't hang out like we used to, but um, uh, but uh, yeah. I mean, Fred Curry from Cinderella, dear friend. Um, yeah, there's there's plenty of guys from that scene that you know the Warrant guys are all great. Um, Slaughter guys. Um, I mean, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of them. <laughs> but you guys probably get together, and there's so much story to talk about. Oh my god! You sure, can't imagine. Yeah, oh, we know how to have fun. <laughs> yeah. You had you any have any uh, desire to even maybe a book or something that comes your story or you can ask that a lot actually. Um, uh, I I the way I look at writing a book is I, I don't think I'm a big enough celebrity that a book would be all that interesting to that many people, <laughs> um, maybe a handful, but, um, uh, and I could write a hell of a book by the way, but, um, but, uh, I'm actually, I'm actually writing, I'm about two thirds done with a book that I'm writing on yoga right now. Okay. So that if I were to write a book, I'd probably do it about something like that, a little more scientific. Um, <clears throat> cause that's a big passion of mine. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, as far as a book about like memoirs or something, I, I, I don't know. I, I just don't see myself. I don't see enough people being interested in it to make well, it I'll, worth. I'll, I'll buy it for sure. You have one oh, buyer well, at least. Yeah, yeah. Okay, one of the yeah one down. When did that? When did the yoga uh, yoga start in your life? I I've been doing yoga for forty six years. I mean, I started in nineteen seventy eight. Um, it just I got injured once when I'm and I was only twenty at the time. Um, but uh. I got injured and I, I told myself I didn't want to be in that position again. And somebody told me about yoga. So I started reading it. I started doing the yoga every single day. I became very committed to it. And now it's a huge part of my life. And in fact, I I do a, a virtual meditation class. In fact, in 40 minutes, I'm going to be doing a virtual meditation class that I do here. Um, that uh, I, I'm very passionate about it. If you go to hotforyogascv.com, you can get the information on how to attend the virtual class there. And it, like I say, it's just a big passion of mine. No, yeah. No, I'll put it down on the on the well, links for you. sure. And yeah. and then even with the crazy uh uh tour schedule you kept you kept doing it uh throughout I'll, those I'll, years. I've I've been really committed to it it's awesome. since I started. Yeah, it's very important for me. And uh Jeff, I saw I saw some stuff about you online, nothing nothing bad, but I didn't know that you were Johnny Cage and Mortal Kombat. Yes. Yeah, the voice. I sure it's was. The voice, yes. Not another guy, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, how was that? Did you ever play video games growing up or it was just actually no, I'm not a video gamer at all. But um around the time that I did that, we had a very dear friend who who happened to be a voiceover agent, and she got people voiceover jobs. And our daughter, who was like three or four at the time, she wanted to get her to do commercials because she's she was very animated and you know mm -hmm. cute little girl and all that kind of thing. Um, and while while we were doing the stuff with my daughter, the woman mentioned me to me. She said, "Have you ever thought about doing voiceover work?" And I said, "Yeah, I actually took a workshop for it in the '90s when things were slowing down for my kind of music. Um, I took a wor a workshop." for voiceovers and I loved it. I said, I'd love to do that stuff. So she got me that gig. Unfortunately, soon after that, she got killed in a car accident. Oh, very really? tragically. Oh. Horrible, horrible thing. Oh. Cause she was a dear friend and she was a really good person. So it, that kind of ended that whole thing. Um, and uh, you know, I'm kind of busy too, but, uh, but yeah, that's something I love doing. I, I, I absolutely love doing that. It's a, uh, it's so interesting because, they got I, I I can't I can't 
think about a, a, another um, uh, example right now, but they, they do got uh, the people from 80s and 90s to do new stuff with the video games because it became such a, like some of the video games have more, uh, they put more money on it than like some Hollywood movies, like most of it. It's just yeah. a big, big, um, big thing. And uh, it's so interesting. I, I had no idea and I played that game and I had no idea. So it's- so That's so funny. Well, you know what? Rock music's kind of a big part of a lot of those games. So it sort of makes oh. sense. Oh yeah, it's very, uh, with heavy metal as well, 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you you say you haven't you didn't play at all. Now you didn't um, like RPGs or uh, stuff going up or not not a video game at all. No, not at all. Interesting. Not at all. Interesting. I have yeah. Jeff. I have one thing. Uh, I always do with everyone that comes to the channel. I have the interview. I have one thing. I if I do have it, I always bring it to it and ask you to bless it for me. Right. Okay. Which is which is uh, uh, back from attack. Yeah. Back for the for the attack from Dokken. Okay. I want you to just bless it, and because next time I listen to it, uh, it'll be blessed by you. Okay. So just... I bless this album <laughs> with all my spirit. In the universe, will give it good positive energy. And powerful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My and pleasure. The, and the last one is uh, where where you talk about some of the stuff that you work on a Black Swan, which is really good and uh you're gonna tour with foreigner soon uh where are you stationary right now what's the what what's the town where are you living right now oh I, i i live near los angeles okay living in los angeles yeah and you have any for the new for the newer generation do you have any names or shout outs that you want to give for new bands from rock or anything anything at all well I guess Garish and the Chronicles. I think they're great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a great, great, great link to that for sure, for sure. Oh, yeah. And Jeff, appreciate your time. I know oh, you're my busy pleasure, guy. Man. Yeah. Great, great. I'm glad to see you're doing this. This is awesome. You know, this is, uh, yeah, we are. We are from um, it, my channel is from Brazil, Brazilian. So, um, oh, very, okay. very, very cool to you know meet you virtually. Uh, well, well, thank yeah. you, man. Yeah, yeah nice yeah. to meet you as well, and yeah. and keep it up, man. Brazil is such a great rock country. Yeah. You know, you've been you've been there before or not? Oh, sure. She yeah, did. I played yeah. Dio and and Foreigner. Yeah, so nice, yeah. nice. Appreciate it. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Good luck on the pleasure, man. On thank the next, you so uh, much. Next up, appreciate it. Thank you. You you take care. Talk thank soon. You.